indispensable convenience of our cell phones, but for nearly a century, phones were very different. And the history of how we arrived at the smartphone is really fascinating. This morning, Gary is on the go at the Telephone Museum in Roseville for a look at the fun and um, some would say strange <laughs> exhibits. Gary, what you doing there? Gary, so can you hear oh my me? Goodness, is that you? Good to see you. Good to yeah. hear you. Yes, I can hear you perfectly. All how right. are you? Surrounded by all those phones. I'm pretty good. You should okay. be able to hear. Okay. All right. So this is the deal. I'm telling you right now, this is the coolest museum. I've been to so many different museums and this one, eh, you know, I haven't been to yet. And, uh, and it's only open on Saturdays. All right. We're going to get to that. But right, we got to talk to Aaron because he's going to get us involved here. And I want to get through as much as I can. That's why I'm trying to hurry up yeah. because this museum is so cool. Aaron, uh, good to see you this morning. First yeah. off, when can we come to this museum? Uh, it's open the first Saturday of every month. Okay. First yeah. Saturday every month only? Just that's it. One day a month? That's it. Yeah. It's a strictly volunteer basis. So there's no paid staff. So we do what we can. I love it. All right. Let's get a little history here. So, so who are these guys? Who are the Doyles? So the Doyles uh, founded Roseville Telephone Company back in the early 1900s, 1910-ish, I think. And uh, these are some replicas of the first telephones that were invented by Graham Bell and a few other inventors of the time. It's amazing. I just love, it's, it's, it's amazing what, you yeah. know, what we've come to, how it started there and where we are now. All right, yeah. this one over here, I just wanted to show this real quick, kind of unique. There's no numbers on here. What's going on with that? Yeah, so uh, early phones, you didn't need to dial. You just picked it up and you talked to the operator. So we've kind of come full circle Yeah. because you can say, hey, call this person and it just happens automatically well, there you, know? you go so siri siri is on the other end of this siri yeah or sarah or right? sarah all right <laughs> there you go um other phones here i'll get on this side as yeah. we just go through here it just dates all the way back how far back do we go like the 1900 oh yeah some of these phones are from the early 1900s and you'll notice yeah quite a few names that you know western electric and kellogg uh, names that are still around today. That's unbelievable. So, All right, over here, the yeah. old, uh, you know, of course, operating board, right? And this goes back to the 80s or 70s? Or? That's right. We were operating this until the mid-80s, and this wow. is a test board. And they would use this to troubleshoot uh, phone circuits that were having issues. Interesting. I yeah. can't believe it. You figure like the 80s, you'd be past all this by then, but oh, I guess yeah. not, huh? Yeah, a, a lot of the actual manual phone switches were operating for some time. Okay, and yeah. then and you, a lot of very spacious, a bunch of different rooms, but I want to take you into this one because I'm pretty sure your mind will be blown. At least mine yeah. was. All right, so let's go over here and explain. We've got about a minute here, Aaron, to sure. explain what this one is. A step-by-step -step switching board? Right. So, okay, so what happens here? So... You know, the operators weren't involved in this process anymore, so okay. it was purely electromechanical. So when you wanted to make a call, and... Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, pick up it, the phone. Yeah, you'd pick up the phone. Right here, I think. You'd Over here. Dialing here. Rotary dial. Okay. <laughs> it's a guessing game for camera guy Larry. We don't know where it's yeah. coming from. <laughs> and... Okay. And the phone will ring. Is that yep. this one? That's the one. Okay. Yeah, and it's, it's pretty clear for, for what it was. Wait, can you hear that? I'd be talking down here so I can hear you. Right. Go. Yeah, it's, it's pretty clear. A lot clearer than people think it would be. It's unbelievable. I can't believe it. So that's how that would work. I mean, just to put that together. I'm talking in the phone still. I don't know what's going on. Uh, this is just to put this together. It's completely amazing to me. Just everything that goes into that. Wow, that is so cool. And then let's yep. just walk right to the very end as we wrap things up. Uh, straight across. These phones are kind of neat because these are, you know, a little, a little nostalgia here. The kids loved all those kind of phones. Oh, those yeah. Phones, right? yeah. These are great. That's cool. All different styles that kind of take us back. All right. The first Saturday of every month, come on down to the Roseville Telephone Museum, make some phone calls, and learn how to use, of course, the rotary from back in the day. I love when you put these in kids' hands and they have no idea how to dial them. All right. I'm going to send it back to you. In fact, I'm going to dial it back to you uh, since you're here. <laughs> All right. Righty. And for everybody who's yeah, thinking, gosh, thank goodness we don't ringy, have that ringy. anymore. Think how often we say, ringy, can you ringy. hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me <laughs> All now? All right, Gary. Yeah, exactly. Thank Hello. you. Hurricane Ian 